Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. You are now live on the air with GEZ TV. And today we got a special guest and we're talking about small business entrepreneurship and what it takes. And I got a special guest, one of my close friends, one of my close buddies. We're going to now introduce you guys to Jeff. From Strong Sands, Jump Removal. Come on in the picture, my man. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day. Appreciate you having me. Get on here, like I said, um, and just talk. You know, share your journey, man. Yeah, so, just talk uh, business. I know you started from the bottom, man. Uh, what made you want to start your own business in the Jump Removal game? Really? Uh... So it wasn't really, it was something that wasn't really thought out. It was kind of like, you know, just like everybody, I need some extra money to pay bills and uh, some things like that. So I was kind of like, man, what can I do for some extra, uh, you know, what, 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 what hustle can I, you know, what side hustle can I to get uh, for some extra money? So I'm kind of thinking and I had got a, it's funny because I had got gifted an old Ford Ranger truck from my, uh, my wife's uh, dad. He had retired from his job. I think it was a little small Ford Ranger truck, if you know what I'm talking about. It had about uh, 300,000 miles on it. Right. I remember I had brought it home, and I, I remember uh, you had came outside, and you were like, this this, this your truck, bro? I was like, yeah. And uh, you were like, oh, okay, that's cool, man. You can make some money with it. Yeah, you can make... And I was like, no, nah, man. I kind of was like, I, I didn't really know. I was, I, you know, I was working a nine to five. He didn't believe in himself, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I was working a nine to five. He's like, man, bro, you you can make some money with this truck. So I'm like, okay. So I just started thinking. I went in into brainstorming, like, okay, man, I got this truck. Like, you know, I'm not too skilled as far as like, uh, you know, people that are in the union and corporators and stuff like that. So I right, really couldn't right. go that route. I'm like, man, what can I do? I'm like, you know what? And I'll pick up people's old sofas or, you know, people getting new beds or... You found you the know, lane, baby. Yeah, I found the... I'm like, you know, I'll pick up people's old junk or old, you know, kind of start off couches and stuff. I'm like, okay, I'll give that a try. So, um, man, it's a long story, so I hope we got time. Uh, I, you know, I like to get in detail. We got, uh, we got time. <laughs> so I, I, I posted on Craigslist. Like I said, I was working a nine to five at a lumberyard, man. I was unhappy. You know, doing the same old routine, seeing the same old people every day, same thing every day, you know, repetitive, repetitive, running you down, running you down. And I'm like, man. So I started posting ads on Craigslist, uh, and I was jugging too. Uh, you know, uh, I'll come pick your couch up, $75. Uh, you know, you got mattresses, box springs, 75 bucks, whatever. And uh, so I put on Craigslist, I think it was like $5 you had to uh, pay for an ad. Right, right. So right. I'm like, uh, all right, I'll spend Shout five dollars. Shout out to the for jumping in. We talking about entrepreneurship. I uh, got one of my good buddies on on the live stream. I'm doing an interview for him, and uh, he started a business of junk review, uh, junk removal. So he's sharing his story. And, uh, you know, just trying to uh, uplift some people. Uh, you know, that want to start their own business. So, you know, we're gonna continue on. Go ahead, Jeff. All right. So like I said, yep, I just started to post on Craigslist, man, and then after a while. You know, it was slow. Like any business, I feel like anybody start, it's going to take time, especially if you're trying to go organically. You know, if you're not paying like Google or, you know, these right. other outlets, if you ain't really got the money to pay them, which a lot of us don't. It's, it's a grind. Yeah. It's a so, grind. you know, coming up, with, you know, I don't have these big budget like these other people to, oh, I'm going to just pay them then and get all these phone calls. So it took some time, a couple months, you know, a couple. I started, you know, I was at the uh, lumber yard. And I would get a, I get a call, you know, hey, how you doing? Oh man, I got an old couch. Uh, seen you on Craigslist. So, uh, you know, seventy five bucks. Okay, when can you pick it up? You know, I could do it first thing Saturday. Okay, so that kind of started going. So that that that, that kind of rolled your ball. Got you got you going in the right direction. And yeah, yeah. Kind of start seeing your lane, like mm -hmm. you know, it start becoming consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, the phone start ringing more and more and more, mm -hmm. and that prompts you to to go further in, in, in this industry. Uh, doing junk removal yeah no just like you said so I, it kind of gave i'm like whoa you know pretty soon i was at work and i'm you know having to duck off and hello 
Hey, I got a mattress. Oh, uh, you know, at two hours later, hey, I got a couch. I'm like, whoa. Like, hey, the hell with this job. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, yeah. I got to go make something happen. No, yeah, yeah, real talk. So when that started going on, I kind of, my my shift focus, like, whoa, I kind of got something here. Like, you know, you know, there might be something here. Like, uh, you know, I could, I could probably, you know, probably do this. Okay, you know, let, let's give it a shot. So it started to pick up. I started to do jobs for people. Then I started util utilizing, you know, like Facebook and, you, you know. Right. The, uh, extra leads. Yeah, free or organic, though. Not right. You know what I mean? I spreading the word, friends and family. Right, right. Um, you know, do, doing stuff, anything free that I could to get the name out there, all you know. And uh, after a while, I was like, you know what? I started getting calls kind of on a regular basis where it was like I kind of almost had to choose. Right. It, it was still right. kind of scary because I didn't know, you know, if it was going to really work. So I, uh, man, I even told my boss at the job and I told him and he was, he, man, he was a good dude, man. He didn't really care about the job. Like, you know, he didn't try to keep me there. He right. was like, you know what? I like you, man. I think you should give it a shot. So he told you to go ahead and yeah. work it out yourself and see what, yeah. see what your your mind brings to you yeah. and see what your vision yeah. is about, huh? Yeah. And so he did that once he kind of gave me that. And, and then on top of it, he said, you know, if it doesn't work out, I'll take you back. So once I had that fallback, like, you know what? I, I, I could put in my two weeks here. If it don't work out, I can come back here. You know what I mean? I know I, I, know I could pay the bills or whatever. I, I, got, I can count on this. Right. So, uh, but man, I, it, I, it, didn't, I didn't, it didn't even have that. I just started. Uh, so once that, I came home. I had all this time on my hands. And I was like, you know, let me think of a name, you know, something. Something yeah, kind of you start falling into the yeah. whole business aspect of it, you know, thinking of names mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and tools and mm -hmm. supplies and all other type of stuff that you may need. Exactly, exactly, and I and 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 come out. My, my my whole focus started to shift. Exactly, tend to now I'm a you know business entrepreneurship. Like you know, how can I really make this work? Let me think of a catchy little name and you know a logo. You know it. Just and, like in any business we And start. by the way, he's have uh, re received some uh, awards from the counties uh, for best small business uh, in this area. So, man, he's come a long way and achieved some uh, some some quite, you know, great achievements in this industry. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to share this story, man, you know, on the entrepreneurship. You know, you can do anything. You put your mind to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, exactly. Get your eye. Get your finances right, man, and, and stick to your guns because don't nobody believe in your vision but you mm -hmm. and the way you do it, mm -hmm. you know, until, uh, until it comes into fruition and, and, and start being financial. Mm -hmm. And that's where I look at, you know, yeah. a lot of people, you know, start from the bottom and going to the top with literally yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, fa yeah to fast forward, like now, uh, you know, I fully work for myself. Like you said, I, I you know I've received some awards and you know I'm uh, I'm a I'm still small in a sense you know I got a couple guys who work me and you know a, a couple family members help out here and there, but like you said, fast forward a couple years like you said, believing in myself and man I wouldn't even thought that I could get this far so you bet on yourself man take that leap of faith you know what I mean whatever route you're going detailing junk removal you can reach out to me if you need some tips I don't tips I don't know it all but you know if you plan on you want to start something or how you do this or you know business is business you know I'll try to help you any way I can man and uh yeah man it's a, it's just a blessing to uh yeah to be where you know working, working for myself and, and have your own business and, yeah be able watching to, it grow and yeah maybe, maybe one day it can become a family business you yeah know what I'm saying? Yeah, something yeah. kids can uphold and carry on exactly the future that there yeah, exactly something i could really pass down that you know is really something you know what i mean that could really you know have them you know straight right 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 yeah so man it was cool yeah man. so there you got it man there you guys have it man my first interview on the live stream with strong signs jump removal we're talking about uh, self-motivation and, and entrepreneurship uh, and, and starting some type of business so if you're not following my guy man make sure you follow my guy at instagram at strong signs jump removal check out some of his work support him man and hey even if you want to just say hey what's up jeff give him a shout yeah, out yeah that's all good it's, it's your all boy green eyes man gz tv man we out we just out like that man